What's up guys, Sammy Hitsky here. Now I'm gonna show you a really simple way at skinning a fish. Now I'm not talking about your snapper and your brim and those short, easy fish to skin. I'm talking about your long pelagic fish. Now it can be a bit tricky, you can end up with a real mess of a fillet. So I'm gonna show you a super simple way to do it so you get the most out of your fillet. So what I've got here is a nice slab of kingfish. Uh, it's got the rib bones in, it's got the pin bones in. So I'm gonna show you how to trim it up first and then we're gonna skin it. So first thing you wanna do is uh, run your knife along this rib cage here. So in behind, uh, go to those ones as well, and try and save as much meat as possible. So you get in behind the bones and just really shave in under there. Because all that meat under the rib cage is, is good meat, you just got to get to it. And that last bit there. Trim him off. Just get, trim that last bit. Righto, so now we're going to take out the pin bones. So they're the ones that run down the middle of the fillets. So you'll feel that they finish up here. So that, that one's finished there. So run the knife down alongside, like so. Down the other side. Now you want to be as close to those bones as possible so you don't waste too much meat. Oh, there's one of his ribs still in there. Get around that. All the way down to the skin. So make sure that other side's all the way down. Now, you'll be able to see once you get to the skin, it opens up. Now, if you do that the whole way along, little secret for you, make sure it's the whole way along, you can actually debone it in one little swipe. So flick the bit of meat on the bottom there so it's cut the whole way across. And then you should be able to just tear the whole thing out like that, get to the end and just cut him off. So. That's your whole section of pin bones. She's now bone-free fillet. So now I'm going to show you how to fillet. Uh, sorry, how to skin it. We've already filleted it. Right. So what we're going to do? We've got a little hole in the top there that we use to hold the fillet. We're going to run the knife down that center line there. So we've now got two halves. And what we want to do then, and this is the uh, the bit that they don't teach you. Rather than trying to skin the whole thing and potentially stuffing up your fillet or missing meat, what we want to do, spin the fillet on, always cut towards the back, and just cut it up into bite sized sections. So you go bite size there, spin the knife on its edge, and just run the knife along. Now this reduces the distance that you have to travel with a knife, so there's less chance of error, and all the meat comes off nice and easily. So you can see. We're getting all the meat there, there's nothing left on the skin. Cut that in one more chunk, and then slide the knife along, making sure you pull the knife away from yourself, and then that last final piece, spin it round, pull the skin, cut back towards the front, and that's done. So that's all that's left, that's a just a thin bit of skin, there's no meat left on it, and we've got all those beautiful bits of flesh there. So you can do that with both sides. You do it with mackerel, anything, anything long, mackerel, wahoo, anything long and pelagic. It's a lot easier to do it that way as opposed to uh, trying to skin the whole lot in one go. There you have it, guys. There's an easy way to skin long pelagic fish.